So I've been seeing a lot of people asking or looking to start their micro locks and methods and techniques that aren't ideal. And a lot of these methods and techniques came uh, or largely originated out of the DIY or amateur communities. These are people who perhaps didn't have access to the education, weren't formally trained, possibly wanted to save themselves some money, um, wanted to do, take, you know, do, do it on their own, and were not necessarily proficient in how the locks were evolving, how they would evolve, what the end results would be. So now there's been a lot of problems and a lot of repair that people have needed to do. And you can look at the picture behind me and you can see some of the potential problems. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you the top three things that people are asking for that are problematic. And we're going to take a look at them. And then I'm going to tell you what you need to watch out for so that you don't waste any money, that you save your time, that you get those results that you desire, and that you have the beautiful and fabulous hair that you truly deserve. Now, let's get into the first. You may have heard me talk about curly ends or micro locks, and this is an example of what could happen. You see the bunching, you see all that fatness at the end, and those skinny, skinny roots. Let's go a little bit closer and look at her roots. Super skinny. It doesn't, it's not something that I would recommend for her hair texture, her looser curl hair texture. That size is extremely small and microscopic. The ends of her locks swelled out to match her natural curl. So it got very fat. And not only is it not aesthetically look pleasing, it becomes structurally damaging. As you're trying to rip a fat end through a skinny hole, it's like me trying to fit in a size two jeans. It's not going to work. So let's get into the next. One of the fan favorites, Two Strand Twist, does this potentially. That hole right there is it's a split. It's a hole. A hole is not something that we want in our locks, especially our micro locks. This client came into one of our pros asking for a retightening on her roots and ended up needing a ton of work to match it. It's not a, a ideal shortcut to try to think you can interlock a roots and leave the ends doing something different. The, the techniques we're using to repair match the techniques we use to install. Let's look at the next one. Braids. This is a particularly poor job, but the, the way that the grid is, is going to be huge. But look at all the ends that come out at the end of a braid. Interlocking roots, having a braid, and then whatever's going on at the end, it's not going to be consistent. Let me show you what I had to do. I had to close up those ends with the same exact technique I used to start and I recommend people start. So save yourself time and money and start it the right way. 